Hi, I have always wanted to make a bubble gum machine design. Here it is. Hope you enjoy it. The download link is in the description. One studio file for Cameo, one SVG file for QuickCut. Upload the SVG file into Design Space. Right click and ungroup. We are going to change the scroll lines. As usual, the scroll line has been grouped with its elements. When you click on one element, you can see two layers has been selected. Click the top layer, go to the top, change the score. Click again and select both layers and click attach. Now change all the score line for the rest of the elements. So basically just repeat the same process for different pieces. Change the top layer to score lines and attach two items together. Now we have changed all the score lines. Select those four elements or those five elements. Right click and duplicate. Move that over, and I'm going to change the one of the circle to red. Click this item, and go to the top flip, click it, click it, and select flip horizontal. Now all the elements are ready. Click make it to continue. The gray circle here will be the acetate sheet, so please set the material as acetate sheets and this is a flower frame. The rest are color coded, you can just change your layout if you want to save some space. But it's pretty straightforward. And just continue to cut, set out your material and your scoring tools. Here are all the elements, including one acetate sheet circle. We are going to assemble all the small elements and we will put them together in the end. Get these pieces, we will make the dials at the front and the back. Use the pen to curl this piece. Same as this one. Fold down all the gold tabs. Apply glue at the end where the glue tabs finish. Apply glue this part. And close the two ends together. Secure and wait till the glue is dry. Same as this one. Apply glue to where the glue tabs finish. While we are waiting for the glue to dry, we can assemble the others. Get these two pieces, fold all the folding lines. We are going to make it into kind of like a rectangle box. Apply glue on here and here. Hold it together till the glue is dry. It should look like this. The top is kind of diagonal, not straight. Put it aside to let it dry. Now we're doing this one. Same as this one. For all the folding lines and glue together, make it into a rectangle box. Hold it together firmly till glue is dry. Close aside. Those two should be all right now. Get the two solo circles. That 
double check it aligns well. Apply glue on the top. Or oh, you can apply glue on this side. Grab the one with circle in the middle, apply glue on this side. I find it's easier to apply glue on this side rather than all the glue tabs attached together. Now one dial is done, I'm going to do the other one. Flip it over to give it a bit pressure to secure. We have the two dials done. I have this piece here and I put foam dots at the back just need to stick it on. Now those are done. These two pieces are for the inside of gumball machines for all the folding lines. We will make this piece into a rectangle box with a hole on the top like this. Just need to glue all the glue tabs together. Apply glue on those glue tabs. Close the box. Now we have a rectangle box with a hole in the middle. Pull this piece. Make this piece into a box with opening on the top. Make it like this, with two glue tabs stick out. This box will go into this one and flip the glue tab back on. So put, apply glue at the back of the glue tab and stick them together. Apply glue on the long side of the box, bottom and the other side. Flip it over, give it a pressure from the top. So I'm going to use something from the top to secure it. Put it aside for now. This piece is for the lid. We'll assemble the lid. Use a pen to curl this bit and this bit. Hold down the glue tabs. And put the bottom side tabs too. Go on the curve and tuck the, those two in on the side. Push your finger in here to secure. Make sure the bottom tabs they are secure to and align well. You can see from the other side, tucking a bit like it's not aligned. Apply glue over on the top glue tabs. Closer. Lay is down too. Grab these two pieces. Fold the tab down first. Fold the, fold the tabs down first. And curl the middle section. Fold down the glue tabs. Same 
same as this one. Hold on the tabs. Curl the middle section. Hold on the tabs. Get the front piece for the gumbo machine and the s sheets. Flip it over, we are going to glue the s sheets on. Careful, don't let any glue get on the s sheet. Turn it over and we will put the flower frame on. Be careful of the glue. Put the tabs on the top. And get this piece for the gumbo machine for all the folding line. Glue those two tabs to here and don't worry about those two yet. It looks like this at the moment. The time we're gonna fold it like this. Get this two rectangle box. You see, there are side, this side got circled, it will be facing down, facing the bottom. So this is the top of the gumbo machine. This side is the bottom of the gumbo, this side facing down. And you can see one side, there's one side, the top is kind of tilted. The higher side facing outside, the lower side toward to the middle. So two of them, this is the bottom, two of them will look like this. Apply glue on. Align the side and the bottom. Stick on. Same as the other side. Align the side and the bottom. Give it a good press. Now we have these two glue tabs. What we are going to do, we are going to fold inward. So when we in, when we close it up, they will be hidden inside. Apply glue here and on the two glue tabs. Close it up. So the two glue tabs are hidden inside now. Get these two pieces. Apply glue. The one with round corner is the top. And there's a square at the bottom. This square is gonna glue together here. So we'll apply glue here and here to secure. Align the curve well. Same as the other side. Next, we are going to put the front of the gumbo machine on. It's pretty straightforward. The bottom would insert into the box at the bottom. So you will go in and cover those two glue tabs. Apply glue all over and secure the front of the gumbo machine. Make sure apply glue on the top tabs. Those two tabs are very important because they are the opening of the gumbo machine. You want to secure them. Insert the legs into the box layer. Align all the sides well. Get the lead piece, attach your lead to here and have the tabs at the back so the tab could insert into the box. Have 
left a tap at the back. Give it a good press. Insert in. Get this piece. And insert into this hole here. And grab the two dials. They are squares right in the middle. This one is the front dial. Make sure it goes here. Go in like this and same as the back one. So I'm going to keep apply glue here. Same as the back one. Press from both ends to secure the glue. Wait till the glue is dry. Putting gumballs in. Please be mindful that this is made of car stocks. It cannot take heavy weight. I would suggest not to fill too many in case it tip over. It will be hard to chase all the little gumballs. Sometimes they might stuck in the inside box. Just give it a tap or a shake to loosen up the bubble gums. I love the sound of this. Hope you enjoyed the project. Thank you for watching.